Today we're going to be making Stutter House inspired by Fredigan, Repeat, and many others who are blowing up the genre right now and show you the secret to creating stuttery vocals just like this. So the vocal stutter effect is actually nothing new and has been around since the 90s, back when trance was one of the biggest genres in the scene. Also known as the trance gate effect, the vocal stutter effect can be achieved using many different techniques. But today I'm going to show you two different ways that you can achieve this using both paid and stock plugins. Okay, so here's the vocal sound we're trying to achieve with these vocal stutters. Now, one of the easiest ways to do this technique is with a plugin called ShaperBox. Using the volume setting, we can change our mode to ramp down here at the bottom, and then click on this drop down menu to change the rhythm that the gate is playing at. You can also make changes in Hertz too, so that way you can come up with this out of time feeling kind of like this. Okay, so let's do the same thing, but with stock plugins. So here in Logic, if you go to modulation and select tremolo, you can pretty much achieve the same effect. So you can change how harsh the plugin applies this effect with this smoothing slider here. And you can change the rate both with the BPM of the track and in Hertz to achieve that free sounding tremolo effect. So the next step in making Stutter House is the feel. So for this track, I actually wanted to remix this Tate McRae song called Run For The Hills, but I wanted to give it this nostalgic future house kind of vibe. So I started out with laying down some chords and the track is in A flat major, but I actually built these chords off of the same bass line that's in the original track. So we have an F, an A flat, an E flat, and a B flat. And then I built these chords off of those root notes. To give it that nostalgic feeling, I created this melody based again off of the root notes of the chords and I layered it with a piano, synth, and strings. Now moving into the build, I added this bass synth that uses some octave jumps and starts introducing that future house vibe. Now the drums in this track are very similar to other house genres where we have the kick on every beat, the clap on two and four, but where we start to change things is the sound selection. So typically lighter feeling, less aggressive drums, along with some shakers and clap fills like we've got here, are used in Stutter House rather than those more aggressive tom fills that you hear in Bass House or Future House. Now, the key to this drop really lies in the bass. Stutter House is known for rolling bass lines, so I've got two layered basses here, one that's lower that fills that more sub frequencies, and one that's more full that gives us more mid frequency content and a little bit more of a transient. Also, after the first four bars, I automated the cutoff, as you can see here. So the bass opens up, and that way we have a little bit more movement in the track. Now, making a bass like this is actually really simple. In Serum, we can build off of this default saw wave here. And so we will shorten the envelope. So shortening the decay, the sustain, and the release. And then we can turn on our filter and I'm probably just gonna leave it at MG low 12, but if you want more of a harsher filter, you can do 24. Uh, but again, MG low 12 sounds fine. And then we'll assign our envelope to the filter. And just like that, you've got a solid rolling bass sound. Also for this track, Tate McRae didn't really have like a long extended note that she sang. So what I did was I chopped off the end of this phrase and I pretty much just copied it, duplicated it, and crossfaded it so that way it sounds like a longer sustained note. And then I added shaper box and just used the 16th note setting here. And just like that, we've got our stutter house vocals for this track. So if you learned something from today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment what you want me to break down next. And now here's the final result. Kissing, screaming, straight back to war. Oh my